And good morning. 73 degrees out there. Already hot, humid day. Hmm, just a day to lay out by the pool or dress up and go to work. Who knows? JC? <laughs> Who's that squeaking this morning? Zorro's back. Zorro's back in town. Gloria going to try to be with us for a full program today. You know, yesterday she laid out on us. Maddie, <laughs> our granddaughter, filled in for her. Did a fantastic job, actually. Anyway, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank you all for getting up with us. This is Athens in the AM on a good looking Wednesday morning. I tell you what, Frank, when I went out and took my first wheels outside this morning about 2.30. Man, didn't even need a light. It was just bright all over. Roy, good morning. Good morning. Great Tom, how are you? I'm great. Good to uh, see you. Don't forget, Roy, 10% off at your place today. I know yeah. Seth's on vacation. That's right. The first Monday. Remember, first Monday. And first Monday is this coming Monday. Not in Scottsboro, but here. You get 30% off everything in there except y'all's products. That's right. Our so anyway, we'll talk to Roy and Tom in just a moment. Then we'll talk about the Chick-fil-A controversy. Congratulations to Matthew Kyle yesterday. Celebrated their fifth year. Frank, Thank you were there. Yeah, I was. Everybody over there politicking? Uh, there was a few politicking, yes. Yeah. Chick fil A, so we had a good crowd. I had a house full. I was there about six for the last one. I had a house full. Well, we'll talk later on this morning, too, with Johnny Lee Dees when he gets here. John knows the Kathy family personally out of Atlanta. They're the founders of Chick fil A. So we'll talk about that national eat at Chick fil A day today. And then all those people who are. Uh, Gay and married probably will be eating there, but hey, business goes on. Plus, we'll go back to the farmer's market. Only got to share a little bit of that with you yesterday from down in Decatur, Morgan County Farmer's Market for Tomato Day this past uh, Saturday. It was fantastic. And we still got mud volleyball. I only got a portion of that show. Still trying to get the mud out of our shoes. But anyway, that's what's happening today. Well, thank again, Maddie. I'll show y'all in just a little bit co-hosting 101 class that was held in our, in our kitchen over the weekend where I was <laughs> teaching the little one how to be just like me. That's scary. Uh, if you need anything this morning, you can call Frank 230-4988. It's getting close to football season. You can text Gloria 603-4848. Kickoff tomorrow's Thursday, so that would be four weeks from tomorrow. Mm. Roll, tide, roll. Here's Gloria with the weather because today is going to be a hot one. Hmm, when football starts, gee, what will I do with my Saturdays? I'll have to come up with something fun to do. All right, let's talk about that weather forecast. Humid, hot. Nope, I'm working on getting fired. <laughs> oh, I have to fire myself. Never mind. High temperatures today of 97, <laughs> low of 70, full sunshine. It looks like a definite pool day today. So, Jamie, maybe you'll have to work today. High temperatures tomorrow, 97, pretty much the same thing. No rain to worry about for the next couple days, but rain looks like it may, we may see a little bit of storms during the weekend for sure. So that jumps up to 30, 40% chance of showers. So just keep an umbrella in the back seat. 230-4988 does get frank this morning. Before I get cranking, can I go to the big news this morning? Absolutely. <gasps> sure. Snoop Dogg is changing his name. Uh -huh. I ain't kidding. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Okay. You know, pot smoking hip, hip hop. Right. Right. Nelson, right. There you go. He's changed his name now officially to... Uh, Snoop Lion. Snoop Lion. He said he was born again after a trip to Jamaica. <laughs> so now good. he's Snoop Lion, meaning light of the world. We'll That's see. good. We'll yeah, see. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. What is his real name? I don't know, but anyway. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. <laughs> he, he could be Darren, Boy Dog. Darren Smith or something. <laughs> How business, Roy? Wonderful. Mm. Growing. I want Seth on vacation this week. Yeah, we'll let him have a little time off. Yeah, he needs a little break, a little break from the action. Tom, how are you? I'm doing good. Yeah, I appreciate you filling in up here yesterday, along yeah. when you weren't here, Dr. Jan mm -hmm. White and me and the baby kind of got things going on I up here. I saw that. I yeah. saw the replay. Looks pretty doggone good. did a great job, but it's good to have Gloria back. She was crying because she missed me. Yeah, well, that's all right. <laughs> we can all, uh, and other big news and mm -hmm. entertainment, taking a cue from Jamie Cooper, another person, a little bit well-known, Oprah. She's going to go with a full afro. That's yeah. right. Oh, Oprah Winfrey's letting her hair down literally for the first time. The media mongol is gracing the cover of old, the Oprah magazine. I used to have my own. Who's who? Still got it. This ain't done nothing with it lately. She said, I believe in a change in hairstyles can be felt within. I've even noticed a change in my dogs. They get their summer cuts. They're friskier and livelier, feeling more themselves once the weight of the hair is released. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Oprah will be eating at Chick-fil-A today, Roy. Couldn't tell couldn't, and couldn't care less, right? Don't matter to me if she does or not. I you know the to. controversy going on today? now, and it's even in USA Today this morning. You know, every day they do a thing on the 50 states. There's 50, you know, in America. So they got Alabama. UAH is trying to do away with Chick-fil-A on campus. Really? You heard about that? No. Yeah, they are. 
The University of Alabama Huntsville's Gay Straight Alliance, are calling for the campus Chick-fil-A to close over the company president's comment about gay marriage. GSA President Heather Shelton said having the restaurant on campus is not consistent with the school's anti-discrimination policy. First of all, I don't understand where they got all this messed up. What Dan Cathy, the CEO, said about it was he believes that a marriage is a union between a man and a woman like the Bible says. That's right. He did not say, if you're gay and married, don't eat at our place. No. <laughs> he didn't even say anything bad about them. No. I mean, that's... But see, and they're talking about anti-discrimination. Aren't they discriminating? Aren't they discriminating against what Christians believe in? But it only goes one way, though, don't it? There's only, uh, well, evidently, I don't know which way they're going, but uh, <laughs> we'll talk. And, and in the, even the news courier this morning, and we'll talk more about this throughout the program, too. they got a Facebook big deal. It says, will you eat more chicken? You know, and it's got a bunch of deals. I'm not opposed to gay marriage. I think two people love each other. I uh, like their food. Uh, they've got a whole thing. The whole thing is ridiculous. You can go and ask an openly Christian food chain owner whose stores are not open on Sunday his beliefs on gay marriage. Uh, and it goes on here. I will not eat at Chick Fil A again. My my money will go to will not go to such a terrible unconstitutional cause. They're saying that because they donate money to other uh, causes. Mm -hmm. Uh, here's one though. It says, it comforts me that the $1,000 scholarship that given to me for college funded my well funded my well education result in me not being an intolerant bigot. Perhaps true at Kathy and his family should try that. Tasty chicken does not outweigh my disgust that they support organizations intent upon removing equal rights from people like you and me. So no, sadly, I will no longer shop at Chick-fil-A. Shop. Hmm. You know, we won't miss you. <laughs> so, uh, now she received a thousand dollar scholarship from. Well, I said the CFA, so I'm a, I don't know what that is, but uh, it says that once again, this isn't about silencing anyone. It's the fact that if you would buy them Chick Fil A, our money would go to groups trying to deny same sex couples equal rights. This isn't a free speech issue. It's every right to say what he feels. That's right. True. Uh, it's, it's just a lie. They've got equal rights. They've got. I mean, yes. Yeah, so I mean. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sure, they got equal rights. They're Americans. They're supposed to have equal rights. Name one law or one, you know, right that we have that they don't have. They have the same rights we it's do. Just, just because would you, you are a store owner. Absolutely. You're a business owner. We are, too. Just because we believe in same-sex marriages, we don't believe in same-sex marriages. Are y'all going to boycott us, too? I think it all boils down to if you have a Christian faith in America, you're going to be boycotted. You're going to be shut out because the Christian faith has some principles they live by, and uh, unfortunately our government has no principles. Well, that, that's the, obviously the way it's going right now. I mean, uh, but anyway, we'll move on and talk about that later on this morning, too, like along with Johnny Lee Dees. Let me get to the big news, Tom. Well, for those of you who want to know, the real name of Snoop Lion now is... Calvin Cortazar Broadus Jr. Hope you interrupted right. me for that special announcement. Yeah, thanks, Clay. <laughs> I'd have changed my name too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Countdown to coaches poll comes out Thursday afternoon. Where will Bama be ranked? I'm saying three. Two or three. Be, uh, probably USC. It'd be USC and uh, LSU, one and two, or vice versa, one and two. Bama will be three. Sorry, Roy, Tennessee will not be in the top 25 or probably top 50, not maybe the top 100. Not this year. <laughs> but we got to go there and play them. Yep. Alabama single-game tickets go on sale today. Alabama fans mm -hmm. who lack season tickets will have a chance to scoop them up today. Unsold seats from visiting team sections. Are, you got some for Western Kentucky. There's a win. Florida Atlantic. There's a win. <laughs> and Southern, Western Carolina. There's another one. There's three we're going to get. So I guess fifty-five dollars piece. I guess that's the only ones there are tickets available for on that. So sold out. Good news here. A couple, Roland Davis and Lena Henderson, both eighty-five years old, are engaged. They got married when they were teenagers Aww. to each other. Stayed yeah. married twenty years, got divorced, and have been divorced for fifty years, and now getting remarried. Aww. <laughs> well, getting remarried. Hmm. Wouldn't you marry one of your exes? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I've gone there. Gee, he's speechless. No, I'm not speechless. I'm just trying to come up with the right terminology to put this in. <laughs> don't. Would I marry one of my exes? Yeah. Hell 
all know. <laughs> okay? Well, good Let's just put it that way. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> what did I hear about Governor Romney? They said he wouldn't even, he doesn't curse Thanks, any. Brad. Won't even use the word hell. He says it's H-E -E double toothpicks or something. Hockey, hockey, hockey sticks, sticks, whatever it is. Yeah. Come on. But yet his manager yesterday <laughs> cussed the photographers somebody. out over there, is over there. Paula, how are you? I'm doing fine. How are you? All right. We're not giving donations to the library up here this morning, hopefully, but Paula will be asking all you folks to do that. So, okay. Let me do a few other things in here. USA Today this morning, when you go on a vacation, Roy, y'all just got back, did you think about hiring a, a professional photographer to take photos of you and your family on the beach? We did. We thought about that. 350 years. an hour is what they charge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not kidding. No. Taking a vacation? Say cheese. I read the other day about a growing trend of hiring your own photographer when on the road, just so you can have the perfect pictures of your vacation at Disney World or wherever you went. The trend is surfacing now because people evidently want professional quality photos to post on Facebook. No more Kodak brownie moments for them. Everyone will have a head this time around. No fingers behind the heads either. No closed eyes. Just hire you a professional photographer. Three fifty an hour. It says one woman was quoted admitting that she had hired a fashion photographer to shoot her on the beach vacation. Uh, she wanted to make every, she, everybody to see her in her best looking deal here. And yes, French photo photos from her honeymoon <laughs> shot by a hired gun because the couple were shot flopping around in the waves. They called it soft porn. Mm -hmm. But $350 well, an hour, surely they uh, make you look skinnier and they probably look better. Uh -huh. yeah, just Bl plus, you've got to put them up and pay their food. <laughs> <Yeah>. Probably. <laughs> if you're looking for somebody to shoot your vacation, no. $350 an hour, I can afford to go somewhere. Because <laughs> 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 I'll be having to work and do the well, pictures. You can just take the photos and we'll kind of go from there. All right, we're going to be talking about Chick fil A here coming up, but let me do a Dear Abby. Uh -oh. This morning up here. And y'all get y'all's opinions on this too. Okay. Sure. Says my nephew <laughs> My nephew George dumped his wife and children for a barmaid. Mm. How's it going, Frank? Not too good. Well he died recently. He was dead broke. My sister paid for his funeral. I didn't attend, but I was told that he was cremated. His remains were put in a whiskey bottle by the barmaid. Oh. And the bottle was going to be buried in my mother's grave. Get out. Mm. Why my sister, his siblings, and his kids went along with this idea, I'll never know. None of us were raised that way. I found out about it only after the service, and I put a stop to it. As far as I'm concerned, they could have buried him in a condom, <laughs> but not in my mother's grave. <laughs> was I wrong to stop this? First of all, they're going to have to go dig the mother up, <laughs> open the casket, and put the whiskey bottle with his ashes down in there. Wow, yeah, mm. that's not... Yeah, that's a lot of Not going to happen. <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're about to say something. Look like what? You look like you were about to say something. I am about to say something. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do about what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Listen, when you have my okay. funeral, it'll be a whole week talking display. About no. We'll have this open up here. I'll be laid out over there on that red sofa probably, propped up. Jamie. TV will be playing all the time. I'll have a donation jar out. No one knew you probably would. <laughs> will the three suits just be on? Yeah, we'll be playing stuff like that. I mean, you got to plan ahead, Roy. I think I'm just going to start that new business with Greg Crow. If you married a barmaid, you'd still be with us. That's right. <laughs> That's pretty good. Don't I came close to marrying a barmaid once. How'd that go? Yeah, you did. Huh? Hundred thousand later, <laughs> yeah. After that three weeks. Uh, sorry, Abby, it's something I didn't tell you. Uh. He doesn't have to know all the stories. And later on this morning, I will show mm -hmm. you how I trained my new co-host, taught her over the weekend. We'll have a little bit of that video now that our internet's working this morning. I can share it with you. How I taught ten-week-old Maddie to fill in for Gloria, and now we know we have it's a permanent co-host. Huh? At least I didn't cry up here this morning. And we both had our pacifiers <laughs> with us yesterday. We've been trying to put a passy in your mouth forever. That was a good rehearsal we had last night, too. Yeah, dream on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got to take a break. You're watching Cooking Up Live on a Wednesday morning edition here in Athens, Alabama. Y'all, hang on. <laughs> 